Hey viewers, um, random question, you know, because I do random videos, but it's today I can bring up a random topic. So I was thinking about like resolutions and stuff and how for New Year's we like to bring up resolutions and like stuff we'd like to change. And so it's already May, so it's very late in the game to start thinking about resolutions. But then, then I realized that, you know, resolutions can come from, you know, any time you want to. So, for personally, for me, uh, a resolution that I wanted to come up with is to be healthier. This is, of course, a weird topic considering all the videos that I do normally. But, you know, this month is actually a very uh, important month for health. And, you know, it's always, not, you know, you always think about physical health. But as I created up here... It's important for mental health, too. In terms of my mental health, I want to be, like, I kind of want to strive to be, like, calmer and, you know, less anxious. So what I mean by improve is that throughout my whole life, I've always had these episodes of anxiety and just fear altogether. So I want to work toward a way where I can, you know, improve myself. So one of the ways that I have begun to try to improve myself is I was inspired this by this other fellow YouTuber who kind of had a whole bunch of cool tips. And so one of the tips was like to put a whole bunch of stuff, you know, like on your wall and stuff. So so I called this my mental chewing gum wall, which is in a sense uh, just some quotes and just words of wisdom to follow so that way um, I don't know, just it feels like you know I'm putting a little bit on the wall you know so it's kind of just like these reminders which I'm trying to like review every day which you know I just came up with and stuff and so another important thing that I wanted to address was like my physical health so uh, let's say I'm drinking like uh, this you know, chia seeds, which is supposed to be good for you. So, you know, I'm, I'm changing my diet. Um, I'm also keeping track of how many steps per day I take, which, you know, there's like a certain amount that you want to strive for. I've also been doing, um, keeping track of when I go to sleep. So, you know, usually before I used to go to sleep at like 12, uh, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., close to 2 a.m., which, I mean, I wasn't getting enough sleep personally, I think. So I kind of set a goal for what I want to sleep at, um, steps per day, you know, try to reach 10,000. There's some days that, you know, I can't reach 10,000, you know, I get like half of that. And then there's also like consistent wake-up times. Wake-up times... Uh, sometimes it's hard to get that because, you know, let's say the weekends I sleep in a little bit more, but I, I just, uh, just seeing that, I feel like it's kind of inspiration for me because I just, like, see the change. I can see it happening. And so that's kind of inspiring for me. You know, I'm finally taking control of my health, you know. I always wanted in some way to take care of it, but I, uh, I don't know, I never take the action because I didn't think it was important. But now I truly see, like, oh, this is good for you, you know, to keep track of what I eat, you know, and, you know, just changing that physical mindset to help with my mind. So mental health is not a bad thing. And, you know, that's why I made this video, because I'm going to go on a journey to find myself, which sounds very, you know, spiritual and stuff, but I'm going to go on a journey to find myself to become more relaxed and to beat my anxiety. And I hope, uh, I hope, uh, you know, by sharing my story, you know, uh, that it helps others, you know. I'm finally getting the word out there. So, um, this is just my introduction to my journey to improve physical and mental health. Thank you for watching.